This tutorial will discuss how to find resources related to your thesis or research question. The research question we will be working with is Carl Off's writing of new incidental music for Midsummer's Night's Dream does suggest alignment with Nazi Germany. In a previous tutorial, we discussed how to develop a research question from some topics. Because we have a research question, we have a very specific topic. It can be difficult to find resources on a specific topic. For example, if we simply take some keywords from our research question and do a search, we can be frustrated and assume that no research has been done on a topic. This is rarely the case. Even if we look at Google Scholar, the results we find are questionable. More frequently, one simply has to adjust their keywords. One of the things about a research question that we need to keep in mind is that it is narrow. That is good. It is intended to be narrow. However, we may need to broaden our horizons a bit when looking for content related to the research question. There are three key ideas or terms in our research question. Karl Orff, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and Nazi Germany. It might help to think about these three terms a bit. For example, Karl Orff was a 20th century German composer. Were there other composers during the World War II era that wrote new incidental music for works for a band under Nazi Germany? It might be helpful to ask if there are any composers what made their compositions align or not align with the Nazi ideology. A Midsummer Night's Dream is a comedy play written by William Shakespeare. Were there any comedies or plays for which Orff wrote the music? This might provide an idea at how Karl Orff interpreted this kind of literature offering evidence for, or perhaps against, the idea that his writings were influenced by the Nazi era. Last, we should look at the term Nazi Germany. There are other terms like Third Reich that are similar, or World War II in Germany, which are a bit broader. Now that we have some terms to use, let's look at the databases and see what is available. Let's take a look at two words that might help me bring up some results. Nazi, Composer. Enter these into the widget at the library's homepage and let's see what we get. Let's narrow our results down to articles and more. There is a fair amount of journal articles to look through, so let's narrow our results again. We definitely want peer-reviewed journals. Next, let's look at subjects. When you're doing a search, it is looking for the words Nazi and composer everywhere in the text. The subject, the title, the abstract, everywhere. Because of this, not all articles that I look at will necessarily be of my area of interest. If I can find a subject that relates well to my area of interest, I can know that all articles will be on that subject. Let's begin by narrowing it down to the topic music, since I am looking for articles in the general area of music. And let's look at subjects again. Articles often have multiple subjects, so all the articles that I'm currently looking at already have the topic of music. But there are other topics that are popular as well. Let's look at more options to see what is available. And there's a topic entitled Nazi Era. Click on it and hit continue. One of the drawbacks of doing this, however, is the fact that it really limits our resources. By default, Corbin Search only looks at what Corbin University has full text. It does, however, offer the opportunity to expand our results to items that are not available full text. To do so, click on Expand My Results. An article entitled Normality and Emplotment, Walter Lay's Midsummer Night's Dream in the Third Reich in Britain might be worthwhile to look at. However, it is not available full text, but it can be requested. Simply go to the tab marked Get It. You will need to log in at this point. To do so, scroll back up to the top of the screen. In the upper right hand corner, there's a sign in link. Click on it. It will ask for a user ID and password. These are typically the same as used for your email account, access to Converge, and logging into the Corbin University network. It is typically your first name, last name, no space, without the at corbin.edu, and then the password assigned to you by our IT department. If you're having any difficulty logging in, please contact our IT department. Scroll back down to the article you were looking at, hit Get It, and then hit the Resource Sharing Request link. Everything should be filled out. Simply hit Request, and the article has been requested. You'll be notified via email when it comes in. Once you get this article, you may want to look at the bibliography for further resources. 
You may also want to try using some of the other terms that were generated when we looked at the keywords when using Corbin Search. Let's look at one other resource that will help us find some more resources for our topic, Google Scholar. First, let's go to the settings to customize Google Scholar. Click on Settings and then click on Library Links. Google Scholar offers the opportunity to link to certain libraries. One of the frustrating elements of Google Scholar is that many of the results are not available full text, or if they are, one often has to pay a fee to access it. If a library has access to a certain article or document that comes up in your Google Scholar search, Google Scholar will provide a link to it. Type in Corbin, hit the search queue, mark the checkbox to include Corbin results in your search results, and hit save. Let's go back to Google Scholar homepage and do a search for Nazi Composer. There are a few interesting results. For example, a work entitled The Nazi Musicologist as a Mythmaker in the Third Reich. However, it is not available full text. But if you click on More, it will show a link entitled Search at Corbin. Click on it and it will search Corbin's collection. In this case, it is not available full text, but it does provide an opportunity to request it. Sign in again in the upper right hand corner of the screen and hit resource sharing request. It takes you to a form and again all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the screen and hit request. If we go back to our Google Scholar results we can find a few other resources that might be helpful. Let's do one more search using the terms Nazi and Composer. Scroll down to the article entitled Honor Your German Masters The Use and Abuse of Classical Composers in Nazi Propaganda. To get this article, simply click on Get Full Text at Corbin. This link will take you straight to the full text. The Side of the By feature in Google Scholar is another nice menu through which you can find related articles. Oftentimes articles that cite a particular article are on a similar topic. There is a citation entitled Music in the Third Reich with a fair amount of Side of the By links. Let's narrow the results down by searching within the Side of the Articles for the term Nazi. This brings up a fair amount of related articles on the topic. This tutorial has walked through how to find resources on a topic. We have discussed Corbin Search and how to use Google Scholar. If you have any further questions about these or other resources at Corbin University Library, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.